Okay, pretty much can continue right where we left off. Uh, let's have a look at uh, our current script. Uh, we got a script that is a bash script. We know that by our shebang line here. We're going to clear the screen and then ask the user a question. We ask them to enter a number. And then we're going to wait for the user to input a number and set whatever number they input as the variable num. We're going to clear the screen again just to keep things looking nice. And then if, if the number that they inputted equals 10, then echo out this message. Uh, else, if it equals 20, do this. If it equals 15, do this. If it's anything else other than those three, then output this. So we did that, but let's uh, try something else. Now we can say if it equals 10, then we can say the number is 10. Okay, so now we can say down here, instead of if it's equal to 20, we can say if it's less than 10, we can say that number is less than 10. So here we got EQ, which stands for equals, and then we got here we got LT, which, equal, which uh, means less than. And then we can also down here, we can say if it's GR or GT, which means greater than 20, then we can say that this number, this number is greater than 20. And if it's anything else, we know that it's the number is, what numbers I give here, between, and actually it's between 10 and in this case actually 21, but we'll fix that in a minute. And the reason it's between 21 because here we're saying greater than 20. Uh, so really we should say greater than 19 so that we include 20 in that count. So is greater than 19. So now if we run this script, we've already made it executable in the last tutorial, so we don't need to do that again. We'll run it with dot slash. Dot slash just means it's in the current directory. Run it, enter a number. If I say four, it says that number is less than 10. If we run it again and I type in 10, it says that number is 10. And I run it again and I say 15, it says that number is between 10 and 21. Oh, should have changed that to 20 since we changed the 19. Uh, and if we type in 30, we can say this number is greater than 19. So go back up and we will change this Uh, and to 20 just so it displays properly. Um, so here we're looking at the if then statement again, but instead of just saying if it's equal to something when it's coming to an integer, which is a whole number, um, we are going to say that it, if it's equal to something, do this. If it's less than something, do this. If it's greater than something, do this. If it's something other than those options, then do this last part. So this is just another look at um, if-then statements with, uh, with integers. And next tutorial we'll be getting into uh, doing it with strings. And then we'll be doing more than basically the next few tutorials is going to be on if-then statements. So I hope you're enjoying these basics on shell scripts, uh, if-then statements. Uh, if you're enjoying these basic tutorials, give this video a thumbs up, a like, so that I know. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I put out a few a week. Uh, also, check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos on Bash scripts uh, and plenty of other videos on other topics as well. So be sure to check that out. I try to put everything in playlists. Um, so I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.